the, the, the comment we get most of when people walk into the gallery is, wow, I've never seen anything like this. And, and, and my response to that always is, that's what, that's what we want to hear. I'm, my name is Jeffrey Siegel, and we're in Mystic Journey Crystals, the sister store to Mystic Journey Bookstore. And we're in Santa Monica, California on Main Street, right near the beach. So what I've taken out of the cabinet is a beautiful piece of blue celestite. It's from Madagascar, from the mine that is very, very small. They're basically dug out. I mean, they're, they're, they're slightly wider than a body. And as you go down, I mean, they probably go down 20 to 30 feet. And they, they have little handholds that are, that are actually like carved out of the mountain. There's nothing in them, it's just the dirt. And so you have to just sort of go down and then you get to the bottom and then there's a little tunnel that goes into a room, an antechamber, where you can, you can sit up but you can't stand up and so it's like a dome. And, and so th this is, we had, I love to travel and I watch a lot of travel shows. So, I've always seen like shows showing mangroves, and I'd never been seen any mangroves, but we had to take this little ponga boat somewhere off the coast or, or around the coast of, of where we were in northern Madagascar. But we took a boat through all these mangroves and, and landed on this place, and it, it's just a village. And everybody's involved in, in excavating these, these, these crystals. I mean, and the, the kids are involved, they're running around everywhere, and the, the, the dads are there, and the, the woman who runs, the person who runs the village is a woman. And when you get into this room, I mean, the, the, the guy who was there with me was, you know, taking the crystals out with a spear. I mean, literally just And then what they do is they have, they have a bucket, literally a bucket, and then they, with a rope, and up at the top of the, of the mine shaft, I mean, they've got two guys just wheeling the bucket up, and they bring up the crystals. But I'll finish the, the story with a funny thing. So I'm not, I'm not a huge guy. I'm like 5'4". And so when I was getting out of the mine, the handholds were really far apart, right? And I was sort of struggling to, 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 to reach up and get it. And so the guy screams down, they're like, you want us to put you in the bucket? <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be wheeled up in the bucket. So with a little help, I managed to get out. I mean, look, I'm big into creating what people want in their lives. That's, you know, really sort of a huge focus of my life. There's a stone called Labradorite that comes from Madagascar. That's called, it's, it's known as the Stone of Magic, and it has this amazing, they, it, the, the Malagasy people call it a flash. I mean, you walk by it and it, it, it like glows from the inside. And so that's really my, I think my favorite stone. One thing I say to people is we're not a museum. The idea here is to, is, it, it's to sell, but it's more than that. My mission is to put these, these pieces out into the world so people can experience them. So yeah, different, different crystals have different energetic properties. Um, it depends on their, you know, their, their molecular structure and it depends on their color. I mean, for example, people, um, black, black stones or crystals are, are always known as stones of protection because they absorb all light. They absorb everything and so can be known as protection. Um, we, a lot of our larger crystals are amethyst. Um, the, the purple stone, and, um, and so it's known as the stone of, of serenity or the stone of peace, and, and, and its energetic properties are to bring the serenity into a space. And, um, and so people, you know, depending on where they are in, in their home or their business, they may want, you know, different things there, like rose quartz is a stone of, you know, basically known as a stone of love, um, and, and so, you know, people may put that in different, different places. So.
there's a, a stone or crystal called moldavite. Um, it's from primarily from the Czech Republic, and it's basically a meteorite hits the earth and sizzles what's there, and it forms this, it's a green, tr transparent stone. They're, generally, they're, 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 you find them either very small or some of the larger pieces are like this. And um, people love it. There's all sorts of, like, people think it has incredible metaphysical properties. It's really strong. I had somebody ask me the other day, can this destroy your life? I mean, I'm not kidding. I, they're like, I've heard this destroys people's lives. I'm like, no. But um, I don't know, eight months ago, something, something happened on TikTok and Moldavite went crazy bananas. I mean, bananas. And it sold out everywhere. We sold everything. And then the prices like tripled. And so, we, that's, that's the crazy TikTok crystal story. <laughs> we want to, to, bring, to bring something out into the world that's never been seen. I mean, we call them, we call our pieces natural art. I mean, but some people buy paintings and other people buy sculptures. And this is in, in part um, in, the same, in the same genre, in the same you know, line of, you know, you know, of decorating, right? more people will resonate and be attracted to a crystal than a painting or, or, or a sculpture. Those things are very specific to the individual. It's, it's really hard to not like a crystal, right? 